Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I'm here with a demo review. Someone who I've been trying to help play Engineer has kindly given in their demo of them playing Fireduct, and I'm basically just going to tell them how bad they are. Let us start. Okay, so... Start with Teleporter. Okay, let's do Refresh Metal, that's good. Going off to the right. Okay, now this is a bit of a laggy server, so it's going to jump around a little bit. Going for the teleporter star. Interesting. Now, this is can be a bit of a problem. Uh, yes, okay, this is a bit of a problem because what you want to do is you want to get to mid as quick as possible, put down a mini, and put down a bit of damage because you want to deny that point. Because there's no sense putting down the teleporter straight away since they can take the point like they have now and the tell is dead, which it is now. So you want to contribute to that mid fight, make sure you, you actually take the point, and then you can set up buildings. And you probably don't want your teleporter up straight away because unless you assume a lot of your teammates are going to die. Okay, that's pretty good taking out that spy. And a bit overstayed your welcome there as a scout because he can just destroy you in one shot. And pathing around there probably wasn't the best idea. So his team isn't doing that well. Playing very passive and wanting the backstater. So I'm not sure what, what exactly he can do to get out of this. Okay. Dealt on that scout. There's an Uber just kind of get away from that business. Doing move on building, take him out and not very yeah. Okay. So at this point I'd say just sort of hold back to where your team are, put a dispenser up for your heavy, maybe just try and lock down an area with your mini instead of just sort of running around trying to take ground that they own without really playing too well. Because engineer is all about playing on your own terms using like your minis and such. So in Highlander, if you run into the enemy territory without a mini, you're playing on the en enemy engineer's terms. So I feel like this guy has a bit lower FOV. I'm not sure if this is 90. Also, that was a dead ringer sound. And he didn't turn around. I could have been a teammate dead ringer. It could have been an enemy, enemy dead ringer. Just, just always check your back. Okay, come up for metal. Kind of just making sure you have this dispenser up, which is pretty good. Have his mini on the point, that's pretty good. There's still a bit of fighting going on here, so I guess you could just run around and shotgun people. You got a sniper presence. I personally would run towards and try and chip damage that sniper. Got two kills on a mini sentry, that's great. Okay. Now, because your team's quite forward, I guess you'd want to set up a teleporter now. Stay this guy just running, sort of roaming around, seeing what you can get. Still not checking your back that much. There was a spy hanging around and you didn't see it because he wasn't looking around. Okay, now if an engineer places down his building at the same time, you want to stick around and try and sort of like shotgun that mini. But there was a bunch of other people there, so you'd probably be better just running straight out. Okay, so since his team isn't really playing with much advantage, I personally would switch to Frontier Justice and just sort of play passive, making sure your minis do a lot. Because he isn't putting in the extra shotgun shots for shotgun to be as strong as using a Frontier Justice. Now he's just sort of like, hey, Uber, you wanna have this mini? I don't know why he's hanging around here a little bit too long. Going for the medic play. Oh, can he get it? Oh, just. Fair enough. If you were like dead in that scenario, going in for the medic. Oh my god, it's this is this is the notorious love clock. Oh my god. I wanna 
have him sign my decree sir. I wish I had the comms for this game. Okay, going in straight for the mini and running straight away. You don't really need the Spencer, you want to stay on here and get the point and do a bit of aggression. Then again, his team's a revive, so good thing that the Spencer was cooking anyway. Also, a good trick is every time you're like swinging to hit the dispenser, you look behind you, and then as the swing is going to hit, you switch back and then hit the dispenser and then turn around again. So you're always checking your back when you have the melee delay going. But in some extra damage, that's good. His team is very clumped up. Maybe only come over on the left side, counteract that. Nope. That was a bit of an obvious spy there on the right. Didn't really pay attention. Uh, keeping up the mini teleporter still isn't up. Uh, upgrading that dispenser because you're going to want to hold this point. Because if they kept that point, they've won. So having that dispenser up is pretty good. Probably want to hold this scout behind. Is he going to get the scout? Very laggy server, but like, good attempt at going at scout. want to like run onto that point and just throw yourself onto it. Oh god, they're gonna cap. Oh, you need to go in there and just shoot the shit out of them. Oh no, can you? I didn't expect you to be able to defend that point, but that was, that was, a, that was a good try. Okay, let's see how this next star is. Set up the telly. Okay, I personally, because um, everyone's just running through the center, you're not going to be able to place the telly because they were walking through. I like to place my teleporter on the side of the wall because you can just place it down straight away and no one's walking there. Okay, going for the early teleporter again. Now, I yeah, I was about to say a spy would come through there and just stab you, and Swine Scout got him again. So, yeah, you probably just want to stick with your team at the start and do a bit of shotgunning put down a mini, but really that teleporter is just a bit of a waste of time and a life. So you come out the side again, and going for the Spencer setup again, okay. So I'm feeling that you're a very passive, you don't really want to stick your head out too much, you just want to have the, dis the dispenser up, you want to have a teleporter up as soon as possible. Is so when the team is playing, they just see a dispenser, they see a teleporter. Now, what I would say is you want to be more of a scout. Like, it's fine having your priorities to having your buildings up a lot, but you also want to contribute in terms of damage, especially on a map like Viaduct. Engineer can do so much work. Like, I've done so many games as Engineer where you just get a lot of damage. In. And that's mainly with your minis being always up in the right spot, but also just being there to shotgun people and pistol people. Like you have your pistol, but you're not really using it. So you could be running Wrangler and just put like a mini up on the battlement and just harass them because they're being really aggressive. So you can just have like a mini set back somewhere and just sort of chip damage at people. Just taking a drink. Okay, come out, place an interesting teleporter entrance. I don't know why you place it there since there's only one spawn exit people would come out of. Maybe it was just you forgot to place it and you were placing it anyway. Was that Scout Spy? Yeah, that, yeah, it is. Set up the exit again.
doing a little dance with shotgun. And there you bird. Is he going to Oh, he's gonna go on the demo, that's a very good idea. And demo's down, nice. Because once they've Ubered and run away, demo's sort of left on his own. Engineer can get a lot of good picks on that demo. Because you can just get right up in their face and they can't really deal with you. The scout's been giving you a bit of trouble, but luckily your scout's helping out now. Got that mini up on the point so you can start taking the point. Good job. Okay, now will you upgrade your teleporter when you spawn? And oh, where's the teleporter? Oh, yes, I placed it over there. Okay. <laughs> now I probably wouldn't have gone through the teleporter out of just looped back around so you can get to that ammo cure right there. But um, that teleport only really needs to be level 2 unless suddenly your team is just, wait, two spies? Is he going to turn around and notice? Nope. Okay. But, like, you only really want a level 2 teleport though. Like, you can level up to level 3 if suddenly your team is just, like, wiped a load of people and you don't expect them to take out the teleporter just so you can like get the heavy and the demo and the medic to the front line really quick but really it doesn't matter too much you just want to be out on that field doing damage and being there and wait I'm pretty sure that pyro was a spy did you not notice okay I I, I, pers I can get I keep saying personally uh, I can get caught up with the game a lot and you don't really notice spies until you're like watching a demo and you can just watch everything. But uh, it feels like you're not really paying attention to spies as much. Like on Viaduct you can play a lot as a spy checker because Pyro needs to be with the combo to like deflect away the spam and stuff and counter the bombers. But Engineer you can kind of play as like a handyman just being like roaming around the back line checking for spies, picking up ammo, maintaining your buildings. You're always going to be there because you've got your dispenser and your teleporter. So you can just make the most of that and just like be roaming around looking for spies and scouts and generally just doing a bit of damage. Okay that mini sentry was long health, you could have like pistoled it but you got the engineer kill. Ooh, and yeah, nearly got the spy. I think you should also get, um, like, bindings to drop down minis really quick, because I'm pretty sure every engineer has these bindings. So, just like, bind a button on your mouse, like middle mouse button, or if you've got like, thumb buttons to just drop minis. Yeah, doing pretty well considering it's a laggy server and your team's getting destroyed. But since you're playing very like passive and you're going for your buildings to set up, then... Okay, I just got a Steam message from him now. He said he's American and he's been playing a Europe lobby which explains to Loveclop, because <laughs> Loveclop on a team. <laughs> but. Okay, I thought this was like an actual game. So, he was lagging, he's probably got like a hundred ping or something, you can't really press tab to check. So, and it's a lobby, so you're gonna get rolled in lobbies occasionally. So, it can cut you a bit of slack. But yeah, you're playing very passive, you're using your buildings as a priority, you basically want to playing as more of an engineer than as a person with a gun. So you could play more with the Frontier Justice and just sort of like ha always have a mini up, sort of play in the back line, just putting in chip damage with your pistol. And because you're using your pistol for the chip damage, then if you have revenge quits you can save them for if you get jumped or if you get an opportunity to sneak up on a demo or a medic. 
because I like using Frontier Justice for a map like Lakeside, where you're going to be kind of passive inherently, because if you're aggressive, you're up on the point, and if you're up on the point, you're likely to get shot by a sniper. So you're kind of like back on the other side of the hill, kind of like you are in Viaduct, but there's less of a hill. But because you're in this sort of like safe zone here, you're kind of just playing more on your own terms. So going for the number dispenser setup, still a scout annoying you, but you still went for the dispenser. So might just want to focus after the people nearby instead of just trying to like tunnel vision on buildings. That scout's doing a really good job of like irritating you guys though, because like I can understand communication issues in the lobby, and that he's just running around behind you guys with bonk, so he doesn't die, and he's constantly doing like sneak attacks. There's not, not not really much you can do if you personally can't take out the scout. Okay. So, not going for the teleporter this time. Going the same route. See, I, I would like go from the middle area. Oh, is he going on the medic? No, he's going for the dispenser. <laughs> okay, I don't understand that dispenser. Because they own like all of the point area. You are pushed back to like holding left and a little bit of cliff. And you just walk onto point and like, hey red team, would you like free metal? <laughs> Yeah, I think you might have just been like daydream a little bit and just walked on and placed a little dispenser and just been like, oh wait, I'm on blue team, right? Okay. But okay. Um. I, as I was saying, I, I would like, instead of going up cliff every time, just go through like the middle area, because you're like safe in that place. And then you can look where your team is and just decide to go from there instead of coming up the cliff every time. Okay, you're up in this opportunity where you can like deal damage. Nice, you put up the mini. It's good. You could have your pistol out and take out that mini on the top of the boxes because that's going to be a real annoyance for your scout and soldier. Set up the mini. See, it's being really annoying when you like push through main. Here's an Uber, you're doing your best. I don't know if that was just like trying to strafe dodge or body block. I'm gonna I'm gonna assume you're body blocking there, that was pretty good trying to body block. Try and slow him down a little bit. Glad to see the medics actually running crash screen now. Always tip your medics. And <laughs> that was unfortunate. <laughs> but yeah. So I'm kind of confused in which how you're playing. You're playing like passive in the sense that you're focusing your buildings, but at the same time you're just running at the sniper <laughs> in a straight line. So you could probably do a bit more practice and just generally running around and DMing people with shotgun pistol. Because gunslinger with shotgun pistol you can do a lot of damage. Because you can basically just be a scout with a little bit less mobility. Well, a lot less mobility. See, look, you just did a lot of damage there with your shotgun and mini. Just play the entire game like that, where you just have a mini up, and then you just go ball sleep onto them. Okay, that mini killed the pyro, so you've got, like, a nice hole on mid. And your medic's down. God. Seems you've completely ignored the idea of placing a teleporter, especially since it's for free. Since you can place it, then immediately back up. Like it maybe costs like half a second to get a free entrance. And they can. And, and that's the end of the demo. And my TF2 crashed. GG. So I can say. Uh, did pretty well considering it was a lobby and you were getting rolled. You were playing a little bit too passive 
you definitely need to work a bit on your DM to be able to like deal with people and just sort of like consciously run around and shoot people instead of just focusing on buildings. But otherwise I'd say you're doing pretty well. So yeah. Hopefully if people send me some of these demos I can do more of these reviews. But yeah.